I'm going to put the inside uh, covers on <clears throat> and I cut this out of the same as what we used in the back. So I cut um, three different strips because I didn't want to get down into the, the gutter part of this so I just used um, three different strips. I don't even care what the blank shows. I should have probably cut this a little bit larger <coughs> in the middle but I didn't. So I'm trying to adhere this to craft text so you need to use a liquid glue if uh, so that this craft text will stay or it will adhere to this the paper. And to work kind of fast so it doesn't dry out. Okay. So I'm just going to line this up and I should go from top to bottom. so hard to see on this black and it's dark out now so So I'm going to put this one right next to the gutter without going in it. the last one. Then we'll cover the um, put the covering over the um, photo flips and then attach it to the book. dry for a few minutes and then while that's drying we can do the book or the pages. Oh. And then our pages will sit just right here on this. I put this one on, this over here for it to dry. 
I've already put this on because once is really I cut this five and three fourths by uh, about four it probably could have been I just want it long enough that it's not going to come undone from here and I put it down about an inch from the top of this piece of chipboard and uh, I put score tape here and on this on well you can see the score tape on this this is the front that I punched and I put score tape right on the the front edge and right back behind it this is a half inch and so fourth inch and I didn't want to get it too close to the top of the spine so it would not keep it from flipping and then on the back I put three pieces you could always cut it off but I kind of leave it on there just to give it make sure it has enough um, on the back to uh, and it does it makes it opens fine I put the bow on the other one here and I think I'm going to put some red enamel dots on this to give it it's kind of plain and I put the bows on this and I put some red enamel dots on this one so this one I will put score tape on and glue it down and this one I'll put I'm gonna put this on so I've already burnished my score tape I think I can't remember so I'm do it again it should be down fine and uh, so this is going to be down one inch from the top of this chipboard and just put a little tick mark and that one inch is right at the edge of where I punched and you kind of need to keep that in mind when you're doing anything on this because you don't want it to uh, get too high up so it won't uh, so interfere with your top. So I'm going to pull the score tape off and when I'm doing things like this I like to use this scotch quick dry glue stick and I like to put it on this because it gives me some wiggle room to move this around if I need to. So I'm going to line this up on this edge and on this edge right on the, the lines and press it down. This one I won't move again and then I like to um, I'm going to erase these lines while I'm thinking about it. I like to um, make sure that it's going to fit and it's going to open if I, I don't want to get it too tight so I put just one piece of score tape up or down I pull it out so I can see and then I'm going to work this around with my hands and I don't I don't want it too tight this is would be if you can see this part right here this would be too tight because there needs to be like a little tunnel in the back so you can open it up. This will be flat, but there'll be enough room. I don't know how to hold this to let you see it, but there's a little, just a little wiggle room. You can't get a lot. It's just kind of higher at the back so that it will um, open. Oh, let me open it. So I'm going to put this, pull this first piece up and put some of this on here so I can see and then I'm just going to push it or put it down but I'm not going to push it very tight I just want it to kind of fit in here on this score tape. So, so I pull the top score tape these other two whoops thought I did. I guess I didn't. Wait, I can't do that. I'm going to do this one. I guess I'll just do them all right now. I meant the one closest to the to the spine of this, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to put glue on this so I can move it around a minute. 
So I'm going to now type this down and see if I have it tight enough. It's just kind of feel and then I'm going to open it and see how it's going to do. And I think it's going to be fine. So what I'll do now is just go ahead and press this down. I think I'm going to type it just a hair. It's kind of just something you have to try. And you can use um, like a temporary adhesive to get it down until you can get it in place the way you want it. going to glue all of this down here so it's not going to have any it's not going to have any wiggle room here so. this one still feels looser so I'm going to pull this back up And now we have both of them that are glued down and ready to put in. And they'll both flip. So what I need to do right now is put score tape on this. I'm going to start from Make sure I get the edges and I'll put some score tape down the middle and then do the rest with glue so that it uh, get a good stick. Because once we do this, we don't want to have to do it again. have some thicker tape, but wider tape, but it's downstairs and I don't want to go get it. So I'm just going to use what I have. And I'll put one here. fun to watch me do score tape. And here. And then you want to make sure it's So that one's done. Do this one. And put some glue on it and stick it down. I don't run out of score tape. Put a little bit of score tape or glue over the score tape. Um, this, the glue just seems to stick better and last longer, but it also can warp your paper, so that's why I can only use it on things that are like this. I have a pretty heavy hand with glue. So. ran out. This is close. This will work. 
looks like it's the same thing, so it's no problem. this project in the works for months and I start it and then I get busy and I have to do something else and uh, it's going to a store in Lamarck so I told her I would get it to her and it's been a while so now it's going This is going to be the side, and you're going to line it up on the outside edge here, and the bottom and the top edge. So that's why we only had to cover this part was so that this thing going to show anything. So I'm going to pull the score tape off, and Just enough wiggle room to and up so I can see where I am going with this. I really only get one shot. There. So now I'm going to flip this open and press this down with my hand. I'm going to let that dry a minute before I put the other one on so it doesn't have any white on it. Okay, that one's going to dry for a minute while I get all this off. That's the bonus of using the glue stick because it hasn't set score type. still has a few minutes or a few seconds uh, for me to move it when I use the glue stick. So I do that when it really matters because you don't want to have to undo this. Um, put it on again. Go over it 
twice to coat it. It will take it a little bit longer to dry, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put glue in between. This one over here and flip it over and put it into place. Always try to line it up on the outside edges first and along the bottom. Just going to kind of press down here so that and as you flip these pages, it'll get more trained to lie down. what it looks like and you want your tops to be even. My stripes even almost line up. That's great. You can see that on the edge. And let's see what it looks like on the, this. And it's not real exciting from the bottom but it's on there. So what it looks like on the front. And I'm going to make some finishes. Alright, this is finished and ready to go. I just need to do a little bit of um, using some glossy accents. So, this is the cover of Surfside and this is the inside. I'm going to put a little glossy accents probably on the, the seashells and the coral and probably this sign here. And then this is how it flips up. This is the first page flipped and this says salt in the air and sand in my hair. And the sea has potent power to make us think things we like to think. And this is a tag page. that are going to sit like so and with a banner on each side and this is some tags with a belly band and uh, a strip on the top I need to cut that little long piece off and see that Anyway, and this is the um, accordion pocket page in here with one tag. You can also put just other pictures in there if you want to. But I'm gonna, this one I kind of bent, but it'll be okay. And then this is one that I added the uh, three enamel dots to so you can see that added just a little bit of color in there and made them look a little better. This is the one of the pocket pages. To zoom out, go 
because it gets so big. And uh, you have an anchor. I have a magnet here. Flip open. Put a little bit of their fake washi tape on that. And this has a 5 by 7 photo mat and just some different little stickers that I stuck in here. And this is the last page, which has, uh, I ended up putting the star paper here and some uh, enamel beads and some different, this one says adventure, said life is good. And this is this. This has some washi tape right here and some gold washi tape. And I just stuck a few more stickers on this. I didn't use them all. I put this over it until there were pictures to cover it up. And uh, just another sticker on here. This is one I put a uh, 3 by 4 pocket here. And this one here. Another 3 by 4 pocket. And uh, just some a banner on each side of this one and nothing oops and some stickers down on this one. The one says BG Keen and one says splash. You can see them in this and this is the end. So that's it. Um, if you want how many questions just get, shoot me an email or text, and uh, I'll be glad to answer it. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy scrapping.